Hi friends, we are continuing the queues management in Blue Prism RPA. In this video, we are going to see in detail about defer. Or deferring new items. And for this one, let me create one new work queue for this one and go to system manager tab under workflow, highlight work queues, click on new and Q1, okay, change it to like default. Apply, then go to control room so that you can see the work queue name. Right now it's empty. Okay, in the last video we have seen about this one. And next, so we'll go to like, we'll see like a default, what, what do you mean like defer and uh, what's the use of like a defer. So whenever we create a create the queue an item has a workflow status. is pending. When we select, when selected to be work, by a process, so it is locked. And following the process can select or Elect to set the workflow status of the item is completed. Means it is done successfully. Or else we'll go for like an exception. Means so it is to indicate it is indicate that the item has failed in some way while attempting to process. R default means default 
before processing of the item until later date. In general, the differ means to delay something until a later time. New items can be deferred to prevent them from being worked too soon. If a deferral date is specified, when items are created, the queue will hold onto them until the specified date. And effect effectively the items are temporarily frozen. Now I'm going to control room. and select default here there are no there are no any, any items now go to the process and double click on add to queue stage here you can see defer until and in defer until field so click on the expression chooser And then you can see expand date, highlight now and click on paste. Then you add plus and choose make time span and here number of days. So here I am entering like a zero and then hours select like a one hour then paste it and here you can see now plus make time span zero means like a zero days and one hour and here I am changing to zero hours then minutes okay from here from now I'm adding like five minutes and then zero seconds click on OK so reset it and then run it
Now I'm going to control room and default Okay, let me change the Q name here. The Q name is so defer so reset it then run it. So go to control room. And if you observe here, right now the system time is it's like a 620 and some seconds and you can see it's going to be like a next review. So it's added like a next 5 minutes. Then I'm going back to the process. If I unselect this one, if I delete it, so reset it and then I'll run it. Now I'm going back to control room, then reset it, like now we may like refresh it. Now you can see the rest of items that you know you had like you know, straight away. Suppose if I want to change the date here, like a date and time, we can select change a different date. But whereas, say if you observe here, it is not showing like any date because we already assigned this one into Q. So we can change the deferral date in a control room. Okay, uh, please stay with us and we will continue with the uh, sub so, so management.